Congratulations on your new American Standard Platinum XV or Gold XV connected control. This video will guide you through the controls user setup wizard. You will be able to set screen brightness and screen saver options, choose color schemes and configure scheduling options, and you'll be prompted through the simple process of registering your new control with Nexia Home Intelligence. When connected to Nexia, you'll receive local weather reports and alerts right on your control. And you can control your home's climate using an internet-enabled smartphone, tablet, or computer from anywhere in the world. Let's get started. Using the Setup Wizard. To access the user setup wizard, from the home screen press the menu button, then press settings, user setup wizard, and next. Setting display options. The first setting we'll adjust is the screen brightness. Using the up and down arrows, select the desired brightness level for the active and standby modes, and then press next. Or, if you're happy with the default settings, simply press Next. Now, let's set the length of time in seconds the screen will remain in the active mode before entering the standby mode after the last screen touch. The default is 30 seconds. Next, we'll set the number of minutes after the last screen touch before the screensaver starts. And you'll choose if you want the screen to go blank or display the indoor temperature. If you select none, the screensaver will not activate. Press next and select a color scheme for your control. Now press done. The status screen indicates that you have completed one of six steps in the user setup wizard. To continue to step two, press next. Setting scheduling options. Now you'll set the controls scheduling options. When scheduling is enabled, your control will change target temperatures automatically at predetermined times throughout the day. When scheduling is disabled, you will manually change target temperatures. To enable scheduling, select Enable and press Done. The status screen now indicates that you have completed two of six steps in the user setup wizard. To continue, press Next. Setting daily schedules. The first step in setting up your customized climate control schedule is to select the days you want to program. Select all the days that will have the same schedule. We'll come back later and schedule the other days. For this demonstration, let's select Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and press Next. Now we need to tell the control if someone in your household stays home all day or if everyone leaves during the day. Make your selection and press Next. Using the up and down arrows, set the time when the first person wakes up on this day and press Next. Now set the desired temperature for both heating and cooling modes. When the wavy lines are blue, you are setting the cooling target temperature. When the wavy lines are red, you are setting the heating target temperature. Press the target temperature display to change from cooling to heating and set the desired target temperature then press Next. On this screen, you'll enter the time that the last person leaves the house on this morning. We'll leave the default time of 8 a.m. and press Next. On the following screens, you will repeat this process for each period during the day. When you have completed setting the schedule for this day, you'll set the schedule for the remaining days in the week. When you finished, the screen will show you that you have completed three of the six setup wizard steps. To continue, press next. Setting one touch presets. If you select it to disable scheduling, you will see the one touch presets screen. From here, you can program the heating and cooling target temperatures for when you are away, at home, and asleep. These settings can later be manually recalled from the home screen with just a couple of screen touches. Press Done when you have completed customizing your one-touch settings. The status screen now indicates that you have completed three of the six steps in the setup wizard. To continue, press Next. Wireless Network Configuration. To remotely access your control with Nexia Home Intelligence, it must be connected to the internet. 
Before continuing, be sure you know your home network's name and password. Unless your control is hardwired directly to an Ethernet hub, you will see the wireless network screen and all detected wireless networks. Select the network you want to use and press Next. Enter the network's password and press Connect. If your network is not password protected, you'll simply press Connect. If your network is not displayed, it may be hidden. In this case, press the Hidden Network button and press Next. Enter the network's name or SSID and password when prompted. Press Connect to complete this process. If the network connection is successful, you'll see the status screen. Now if you're having trouble connecting your home network, online help is available. From a computer, go to www.mynexia.com and click on Help in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Select Troubleshooting and Home Network Troubleshooting and Info for assistance. The status screen now indicates that you have completed four of six steps in the Setup Wizard. To continue, press Next. Connect your home to Nexia. Now we'll enroll your control with Nexia Home Intelligence. Nexia enables you to remotely view and control your home's climate using almost any web browser or smartphone from anywhere in the world. In a moment, you'll need a personal computer with internet access to set up your Nexia account. From your control, press Next to get started. After reading the enrollment screen, press Next. You'll go to the Nexia website from your computer in a moment. Press Accept to accept the terms and conditions, and you will see the verification code screen. Now from a computer, log into your Nexia account, click on Climate, and then click on Add Device. Or to create a new account, Go to www.nexiahome.com slash AS, click on Sign Up, and follow the on-screen prompts to create your account. When you reach the Choose Devices screen, click on Thermostats and select the American Standard Platinum XV or Gold XV. Click Continue. From the Enrollment Cart Confirmation screen, click Continue. And after reading the Getting Started screen, click Continue. When you reach the Device Enrollment screen, note the five-digit verification code and click Start. Within five minutes, return to your control and enter the five-digit code and press Next. After a few moments, your control will be connected to your Nexia Home Intelligence account. Press Done and the status screen will indicate that you have completed five of the six steps in the Setup Wizard. To continue to the last step, press Next. Setting Weather Options the final step in the user setup wizard is to enter your zip code into the control. Press next and then press location. Using the keypad, erase the current zip code and enter your zip code. Press apply and done. The status screen will indicate that you have completed all six steps in the setup wizard. To continue, press done and home and that's it. Your new American Standard Platinum XV or Gold XV control is configured and connected to Nexia Home Intelligence. If you have questions or need further assistance, please contact your local HVAC dealer or visit us online at www.nexiahome.com.